say to you, whoever says to this mountain. And so we have to also understand as we endeavor to embrace concepts of faith that every person of faith will experience mountains in your life. Can you hear that? Amen. We all want to go through. See? Every person will go through mountains. How many of you know just because you're a person of faith it does not exempt you from hardship, mountains, obstacles, struggle. Doesn't mean you're exempt. It doesn't mean because you're saved and you're a child of God that you're going to float around Life on flowery beds of ease. No, that's not gonna happen. Jesus said, if they hate me, they're gonna hate you. The Bible says in the world, you're gonna have tribulation, you're gonna have struggle. And so Jesus made it abundantly clear that if you're a person of faith, you will experience mountains in your life. Again, obstacles, roadblocks, challenges, hardship. Has anyone ever went through any challenges in life? Any hardship in life? I dare say you may go through more. When you get saved, because how many of you know you have a target on your back and we have a real devil to contend with? The Bible says he walks around seeking whom he may devour. And so I don't know where we got this teaching and message from in the body of Christ, thinking that if we have strong faith, we will never go through problems. See, the opposite is actually true. There's more evidence to suggest that you might have more challenges. You have challenges because we live in this imperfect world. Again, we have challenges because we're dealing with the devil. We saw this in the life of Job. He went through challenges. Jesus, he had mountains in his life. Paul, you can go on and on. Moses, Ruth, they all went through mountains in their life, and we will experience the same thing as well. No one is exempt. This is the thing I found. When you talk about mountains and like challenges, you know, mountains are kind of like traffic. Praise the Lord. How many of you know from this? If you drive, you're going to face what? Traffic, right? It's inevitable. Either going to work or coming home, yeah. you're going to go through traffic. You know who goes through traffic? It's not just black or white, Asian, Hispanic. It's not just male or female. It's not just people who are on the bottom of the social or social economic ladder. It's not just people who are at the top of the economic ladder. Every single person goes through traffic. If you drive, you're going to be going to a place and there will be an accident on the highway and it's going to hold you up maybe bumper to bumper. Everyone will experience traffic at some point in their life and in a similar sense. Jesus said that everyone will have or experience mountains in their life, obstacles, setbacks, roadblocks, challenges, and hardship. That's what he said. Hey, how many know that's why? That's why we need faith. That's why we have to embrace the gospel. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 34, verse 19, he says, Get this, many, many are the afflictions, many are the mountains, many are the troubles, the hardships of the righteous. In other words, again, because you live for the Lord, that does not mean you're exempt. See? That's why we need faith in the first place. Amen. The Bible says that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they went through hardship, Daniel. They went through hardship. Moses, they had stuttering problems. See, the, the children of Israel, they had to go and possess the land. They dealt with giants. Every picture of the faith, everyone who had a covenant with God, experienced mountains in their life, and you are no different, ma'am, sir. Jesus had mountains in his life. You just keep right on living. Hey, we experience mountains at home. Yes, sir. With your marriage. Yes. With your children. Come on, somebody. Yes. With your ex. Hallelujah. Hey, yes. with your finances. Dealing with the economy. See? Yes. Dealing with inflation. You go to the job. You deal with challenges and mountains. People get on your last word. Or you have that one supervisor. Who, oh, my God. You have to make can't work with it. See, mountains. And listen, it's not just the world. Believers as well. Yes. You go through mountains in your family, with your parents, as I said before, associates, yes. friends, yes. things that take place in our world system. And so therefore, Jesus said, if you're going to talk about faith, we have to also include in the conversation that you will experience mountains in your life. Yes, sir. No doubt about it. Yes. Many, many, 